So there is good news from the Antisense universe. I just completed my script, A Thousand Silences. It's a climate positive story with an upbeat, optimistic ending. And it just got a seven on the blacklist. Uh, the reviewer did the review super fast, which is probably why they got the title wrong. But they nevertheless were impressed, so I guess it has something. Uh, I have, so this, it's, a, it's a low to ultra low budget feature. And it's, the main plot is about Noor Abu Bakr, who is a filmmaker of Turkish Iranian descent. And he has made a film exposing the greenwashing techniques of a corporation that is destroying an island paradise. So obviously he wants some protection when he gets this movie out because he knows he's, there's going to be backlash. So he enlists the help of a Hollywood producer, a Korean American called Johnny Park. Uh, both of these characters already have actors attached and uh, they're based in LA. Uh, Garrett, who is to play Johnny Park, and Rafiq Bacha is to play Noor Abu Bakr. I, the the movie is set in uh, India, the US, and and the UK, but I formatted it in such a way that the whole thing can be shot in LA. Uh, so it's <clears throat> the basic premise of the plot is that we need more stories about uh, climate change and climate action. Uh, so Noor Abu Bakr starts out as a, a documentary filmmaker, so he's chasing the facts. Uh, this leads him to work with a pair of scientists in the UK who are trying to put forward a plan to save Europe's ports from inundation. Uh, but a spanner gets thrown in the works there because an Irishman turns up and says, well, you're not protecting the west coast of Ireland, so if you do this, I am going to orchestrate terror attacks on all of Europe's cities. So they have to abandon that plan. Uh, but then Noor gets the idea uh, that rather than try to make the facts work, maybe what we should do is tell stories, appeal to people's emotions. So he decides to make a what-if story about a world in which these sea walls are built to save Europe's port, but Ireland is left out in the cold and they start a war against Europe. So this is a, he figures this is a good premise for a fictional story. And... Uh, the same thing happens with the scientists. They, they also realize that they've got their priorities wrong and they should be thinking about solutions that help everyone. So that's essentially the premise of the movie. And all of those people out there who are saying we need more action on climate, we need to make stories, we need to make fiction because that's going to get into people's hearts and change the way they feel about things. The f arguing about the facts is not going to get us anywhere because there can always be a counter argument. That is what science is about. And the corporations are using that to stymie the argument and make it difficult for anybody to actually get anything done. So we need to leapfrog over that discourse. There's no point waiting for proof that climate change is going to kill us all because by then we're, we are on the road to die. And for my homeland, that is going to be too late. So I am very invested in getting people to feel differently about the climate crisis.